Hey guys, this is Zio, and welcome back to episode 20 of my Let's Play 7 Days to Die with Running Zombies. So, I'm back at the base, and the first thing we're going to do is create a shotgun. We found the barrel in our last town run, and we have a shotgun receiver from earlier, and I think we also found another one. So we're going to make those into molds so that we can repeatedly create our shotgun, and make multiple copies of them, because sometimes it's better to do that than bother with repairing one. So now that we have the two molds, th those are the only two molds that we need for the shotgun, we're going to create a piece of each. So let's put enough iron in. Like that. And let's create some smaller pieces of coal because we don't need to burn an entire coal ore to do that. And there we go, that should get us our shotgun receiver mold. Or shotgun receiver from our mold, sorry. And we will also create one barrel. But let me grab that, I'm not sure if, uh, if the bug is still there that deletes the piece if you will switch the molds out. That happened to me once and I was not very happy, needless to say. Okay, and this one will be a lot more. It's not gonna finish up time anyway, so I'm gonna have to put one anyway. I think two, two is sufficient enough for us. That should do the trick. And while that's going, let's create some lead. And for that, we will use core. However much that gets us. Okay. So there's our barrel. Now we have a barrel and a receiver. And we're going to put our molds back in here. All right. And yes, I do have this shotgun, but it's it's really bad. The sawed off shotguns are not nearly as good as the full barreled ones. So I think uh, this is what we need, a shotgun pump. And I don't remember what the stock takes. Or how it's shaped, I don't like that, okay. Perfect. And well, let's just make a shotgun. So we put our pump here, our shotgun on the bottom, uh, stock, and receiver in the middle, and the barrel on top. And uh, our shotgun is about to be ready. Okay. So let's get our shotgun. And there it is. Look at this puppy. Alright, so now we're going to create some shotgun shells for that. And for that I have some gunpowder. And I'll also actually melt this down while that's going on. Close enough. And we're going to go to... Uh, I think it's Buckshot. There it is, buckshot. And for that we're going to need some lead ingots, which I just created. And that will give us 32. So that will be enough for 32 shotgun shells. And we're also going to need the paper. And gunpowder. There we go, shotgun shell. So that will give us 32 shotgun shells. And we're going to keep doing that. This this is 21, so in total we'll have 55, I believe. Or 53 if it was 32, I don't remember. However many that, that's going to make. 32, okay. So yeah. And we will also cook some bacon and eggs. And for that, we're going to need the grill in the cookware slot, and the raw pork with the eggs at 2 to 1 ratio, and of course, 3 coal. And that will give us 11 bacon and eggs, which will be enough to last us for, I think, at least 2 days. Uh, we're still good on the coffee, so I'm not going to bother brewing anymore. Well, I might actually end up planting these at some point in the future, and that will mean that I will have built a new farm. 
because this one is already full, I replanted the potatoes. And since we will be... We're pretty hungry, so we'll be eating before we leave. We're going to grab some potatoes and some corn. And we'll be creating a stew. We should get another campfire going, probably. Uh, but I don't know if I have the... Oh, I do have the stones for it. Okay. The question is, should I? Sure, why not? Let's do it. Alright. And let's create that campfire. I'm going to put it right over here. Alright. And we're going to start cooking some of this uh, bottled murky water that I picked up in the downstairs bathroom toilet. I know that's kind of disgusting, but that's what we have here, and that's what we have to use. So, we're going to be drinking boiled toilet water. And some lumps of coal, actually. That's all coal ore. Okay, it's going. And our bacon and eggs are almost done. And we'll be using our water, our ear of corn, and a cooking pot to create the stew. It will just be vegetable. Actually, I do have venison. It's going to be venison stew. Excellent. Perfect. We're going to be making stew. Just like so. There we go. Oh yeah, I need to put fuel in it. Go figure. And we're going to need more, so... Let's grab another coal ore and break it down. Let's take a look over here. Eight ingots, nine ingots. So that will give us some more shotgun shells. And we're going to put a... F oh, oops, wrong one. This one. Yeah. There we go. That'll do it. That'll get us our stew. And now let's get some of these ingots and break them down to bug shot. Yeah, 72. Perfect. So that'll give us 104 in an inventory, plus 21 over there, which will be 125 total. So that will be pretty good. Uh, I feel fairly confident with that much shotgun shells. Um, we're probably going to go exploring. Again. So we could go either farther this way. But I'm thinking it might be better to go down this way this time and see what kind of biome lies over here. Maybe there's another interesting prefab over there. It will be good to have another town that we can loot before we start thinking about anything seriously difficult. Like the hub city, for example. Alright, let's just grab the stew and eat it right now because we're pretty hungry. There we go. Look at all that health. That's like three health. <laughs> but it's better than nothing. So let's grab some more painkillers. Eat those. Alright. And that's going to be going for another four minutes. It's going to be going for another three minutes. And the lead ingots are completely paused. So. This is what I'm going to continue doing for a little bit, and I'll see you guys when I'm done, and we'll go exploring. So, see you in a sec. Okay, well guys, I'm back, because there's about to be a horde. There's about to be a huge horde. See? They're spawning in. They're already spawning in. So this is not good. We're going to be getting out of here right now, really quickly. We're going to be putting all this stuff back here. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I don't know if I'm going to make it. But I do need to get out of here, like pronto. I'm stressing out now. Let's put all this stuff up quickly, quickly. Alright, shotgun in hand. Re yes, reload. Quickly. Alright, we're getting out of here. 
We're using our back door. We're out of here. We're out of here. Yeah, I heard that screecher literally as I said, I'll see you guys in a sec. <laughs> and this is what comes. So actually what I'm going to need to do is... Uh, let me just get them all after me. I don't want him to just stay here and beat on my house. That's what I'm trying to avoid. Hey guys. Yeah, that's right. Come on. Come on. Oh wow, that guy had no head. Yeah, there we go. Come with me. We're, we're leaving. This way. Come on. Let's go. Man, that's a lot of zombies. Look at that. Test out our shotgun a little bit. <laughs> Look at all those spider zombies. Oh my gosh. Well, oh, uh, dodged you. Wow, look at all those spider zombies, guys. That's a lot of spider zombies. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna try this. I'm gonna try and stop real quick and put some pipe bombs in my hands. Like that. Oh no! I dropped my shotgun. <laughs> oh, that was awful. Don't ever do that. Don't ever drop your shotgun when running away from a horde of running zombies. That is not a good idea. Alright, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and drop a pipe bomb just for practice. I mean, I don't really have to kill these guys. I plan to run away, but let's do it just for the heck of it. And I'm going to drink some coffee because I don't want to run out of stamina for this stuff. That would not be good. Alright, let's get that. Ah, oh, that's the hunting rifle. Damn. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Alright, we're going to try to do that again. It's all the way over there. Alright, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and get that buckshot out. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so now let's try and kind of go this way. Run, run through the middle of it. Yeah, there we go. There we go, okay. Now they're all together. That's how we want them. Come on, blow up. Okay, so we need to time this a little better. It's gonna take. See, I think the it's burning now. So, yeah, there we go. Perfect. That's exactly what I was trying to do. Exactly what I was trying to do. Let's see how many that killed. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's that's not bad at all. Yes, I like that. I like that a lot. Come on, let's go. Playing corral with these guys. They're like cattle. Boom. Alright, the rest we can deal with. They should be already down on health. Nice. We actually took out that horde almost. I know there's a few more left. Wow, these guys have a lot of health. Though, so, of course, we already knew that. Alright, let's shoot this guy. It's probably the fact that my gun is damaged. It's much less effective, of course. So, I, I unfortunately, I didn't quite make it to those other zombies to loot those. They despawned too quickly. But, oh, this is going to be a good shot for the hunting rifle. Let's see if we can get her. Nice, nice. Now, let's kill some of these other guys. See, they're still, they're still at my base. Oh, dodge, dodge. Oh, he almost got me there. Oh, and there we go. And the head. Oh, come on, that should have killed him. That's a sledgehammer. Oh, why is she walking? Oh, man, she's ugly. Look at those teeth. Brush your teeth, woman. Infected woman. 
So I guess if you're a zombie, it really doesn't matter, does it? With that sort of diet, I don't think uh, you're gonna have good teeth anyway. Alright. I hate the spider arms, they're so hard to hit. I should just shoot those. Shoot those with a shotgun, but it's, it's not even easy to hit them with a shotgun. I don't know, there's something about the hitboxes, I think. But, that's alright, it's all part of the game. These guys are so annoying. Oh, what? Really? Oh, okay, I see, I see. What I have to do is I have to hold it down, I think. That's... Oh, okay, they're all coming now, good. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, spider zombie. Oh, that was a good moving shot. I like that. That was fun. Oh, that's fun. I like that. One more. Oh, no. That was bad. Shouldn't have done that. I got panicky that they were about to hit me and screwed it all up. Alright, let's see if we can leave these guys a little present. Boom! Yes. Oh, that was nice. I love that. That is so much fun. Pipe bombs. One more, come on. I've got bullets for you too. Told you. Alright, let's hit some of these guys before they disappear on us. Come on. I can take all of you. There's enough for everybody. Just line up. I can hear more of them inside. We're gonna have to clear those guys up too. Alright, that guy's dead. The crawlers are really uh, not very dangerous at all. You can pretty much ignore them. Ah! Ah! Yeah, I, I know. That was bad. Ugh. Darn. Those are really silly mistakes I should not be doing. If I was playing on a harder difficulty, that would have been significantly worse. But, it's not that hard. Next next playthrough, uh, after Alpha 11, I think I'm going to turn up the difficulty. Because it's just a little bit too easy. Batty, oh, come here. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing pistol shots on him. Just takes too much. Man, all these zombies, they just keep on coming, don't they? Uh, it's because of those forges, obviously, and campfires. I attracted the whole bunch of them. So I don't really have... Oh, look at that. She's beating on my door over there. Yeah, I see you. I saw you. Alright, let's move her. I wonder why she was trying to get in here. We're gonna have to do something about the shelter before the next feral night, though. Hi there. Thanks for stopping. That was nice of you. Yeah, they're definitely... They're definitely in danger of breaking through at night. This is not the safest place to stay anymore. I'm going to have to... Oh. Yeah. No, yeah, they definitely... Oh wow, they even wanted to break through that. But I bet they all went out that that big space right here. Yeah, they even created a new one. Look at that. They couldn't jump up here, so they just blew out this wall. Which is fine by me. I don't think I'm going to be very safe in here anyways. Alright, so let me finish what I was doing, and I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright guys. I've made a significant amount of shotgun shells, and we are ready to go. And there's a zombie right here. We're gonna shoot him in the head. Oh no! No! 
What am I doing? I'm trying to be all sneaky. And then missing. That's awful. Embarrassing. And I really don't need that anymore. Okay. So we are going to go this way. So let me fast forward a little bit on the running and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here we are. We're not very far, as you can see. And I just wanted to show you this kind of cool place that I found on my way. There's some cliffs over here, some cliffs over there, a lake right here, pretty big lake actually, a strangely large lake. And I like that little island over there. So there's some interesting things we could do with this. We could perhaps build a shelter or a base here in the future. It's uh, it's not the best place I've ever seen, but it's decent and it's got some deposits, which means that I'll be able to mine here. So this might actually be a place for a new mine. And maybe if I get a new mine going, I will feel motivated enough to turn it into a full-fledged base over here. Oh, that's an another biome, and guess what? This is the desert! That's what I've wanted to find, remember? If you've been watching my uh, earlier episodes, I've been saying over and over that I'd like to see a desert biome. Because it has some things that don't appear in other biomes, namely these plants over here. So I'm really glad we found this. That's awesome. I don't know if there's uh, good prefabs in desert biomes, honestly, but I do like this. And that is close to us, too. It's, it's just one biome over from our base currently. And there's a lot of these. It's, it's so easy just to run around and pick them up. And as soon as I have enough for, uh, for some aloe, uh, all I need is jars, I think. And I can make a whole bunch of healing bandages. Which essentially makes our health cheap to restore. Hey, hey, hey there. Hey there, guy. And hello, Nursey. And hello, other woman trying to sneak up on me from behind. And the, this guy. Headshot after headshot. Nursey. Oh no, first miss. Trying to be cool here and hit her with a hip shot. Let's show you uh, the shotgun. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I like this. This is fun. That shotgun is going to be a lot better for killing zombies. Our next Feral Knight will be a little bit easier to cope with, especially since the waves will be stronger this time, as they always are. And I believe someone told me that the zombies actually get stronger too. They get like plus 0.1 health or something every night, I think is uh, what I read. You can go ahead and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, or tell me if I'm right in the comments. Alright, so it appears that it's very easy to find any aloe or yucca here. There's a lot of it, and it's all over the place. So, let's see. Let's see, after we kill the zombie, worry. Where we are. Make sure it's a spider zombie, just in case. Let's let's give him the, the treatment. There we go. And this guy too, of course. There you are. I know I heard something from behind me. Um shot. Not not the best. And right in between their heads, also not very good. Okay. I might have to actually start aiming. Yeah, okay. Uh, forget it. Apparently, I'm not very good at this moment. So we're just going to go ahead and smack him in the face. Boom. And boom. Alright. I don't know why some of them can take like three hits, and others only like one, and they die. Maybe the zombies have different health? That's quite possible. Alright, so yeah, we, we're just going to head on this road, I guess, and we're going to see if we can find a prefab. But, unfortunately, 
We're running kind of low on time. Oh, there we go. I see something. And the zombie sees me. All of them see me. That's okay. We can kill them. Actually, the other guys don't see me. Huh, look at that. They're running all in the other direction. Okay, what can we get rid of? The bone. Come on, there we go. So I'm going to have a lot of fun picking up these plants off camera at some point. We're just going to grab a few for now. I'm glad he didn't notice us. Let's loot him. Nothing. So I'm not sure. It appears that there's only about two houses here. I'm not sure if this is the extent of the buildings in this zone. It could be. I mean, that's very possible. This is the desert. You'd expect there to be kind of less houses. Alright, let's take them out. That was like point blank to the chest and it didn't kill her. I guess you do have to aim for heads still. Fortunately, I have so much ammo that I'm fairly set for now. I made a whole stack of 128 and then made a few more. Just for good measure, which I left back at the base. In case we do need to uh, come back at some point without any proper weapons. Is this the only guy? I thought I heard something. There might be another crawler. Let's see. Hey, there he is. I see him. I think he was chasing a rabbit. It's kind of hilarious considering the speed. <laughs> Good luck with that. Alright, let's see what's inside these houses. And I wonder, is it the only prefab here? This is kind of close in. Uh, there could be more. There could be more. I think I'm going to scout out some more. Alright. Nothing good. Uh, urban, home maintenance, I think I know both of those. And jars. Actually, let's do this. Let's uh, put our sticks in here, which we don't need. Nails we don't need. Scrap lead we don't need. Aged wood we don't need. And paper, we're not going to care. We have books for that. Gunpowder we don't need. I will keep the beaker. We'll keep the oil. And what we're going to do now is we are going to grab the jars. And we're going to make some aloe. Actually, just one. There we go. And we're going to make a bandage. Healing bandage. It's the other way around, maybe. Oh, okay. I see how that works. So let's do that not the bandage, it's a piece of cloth that you need to use. So I'm just going to use that right away. I heal up a little bit. And we're also going to create a yucca juice. Which used to be like this, but obviously they had to change it on us. So now we need four. That's quite a bit more. But maybe it's a little bit more powerful now. Who knows? Let's see. I'm kind of interested. And we are going to leave all this here for good. We're not going to bother coming back for it. And we're going to keep the rest of this stuff. This is good. The cans, we don't really need, but we're going to keep for now. And I think we're set. So let's see this yucca juice. 30 stamina, 15 hydration. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm not sure if that's better than what it used to be, but it's very decent. Oh wow. Uh, did, did, did they spawn a horde? I hope not. There really isn't that many yet, so it doesn't look like a horde. Let's thin them down a little bit. There we go. And this guy. They're almost all gone. Headshots all around. 
except that guy. As we know, I hate them. So of course they have to be shot like three or four times. Because that's exactly what I hate doing, is shooting them. So they're going to make me do a lot of it. <laughs> oh, come on. That was like right on his head. There we go. Finally a headshot. Ugh. And they're, of course, all messed up, too. Alright. Oh, there might be something interesting in there. We're going to have to use our pickaxe for this. Let's get through. Uh, that's a wooden sound. Hmm, that's weird. Okay. That's weird. I don't know why, but for some reason the pickaxe wasn't working any better. Now it should go easily. Although it's still going kind of slowly. I'm used to it being a lot faster. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. That's just corrugated metal. I thought it was scrap frame. That would have been a lot more powerful. Blueberry seeds we don't need. Trash. Now this is a pretty awful place, actually. There's barely anything here. Barely anything at all. I thought there would be like a... A gun safe or something cool, but not at all. Not at all. Can't believe there's nothing here. That, that's awful. That's really, really bad. Alright. So, let's end the episode here. I will start the next episode in the same exact place. And we'll keep exploring the desert biome. So, thank you for watching. Please uh, go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I'll see you guys in episode 21. Take care.